Q&A real How do you quick. do the auto What, what is your tag to get? I saw Kazar is there at one line. You're black. Well, I guess I gotta answer your questions. I will first go through how I make my AFK farm. As so much of you ask for, like many other games I AFK, I use Tiny Task to do it. So usually when I start an AFK, I usually wait at least 10 seconds. This is so loading times, don't impact my macro. After 10 seconds, I TP the story, and I would immediately walk forward. If this failed to get me into a lobby, I would TP back the story again and continue to walk forward until I got into a lobby. Then I would go into Windmill Village and do infinite. Forgot to mention, but this AFK requires good starting units. This is because I spam my units rather than upgrade them. And as you can see, I'm trying to place my units everywhere. This is due to the random spawn locations. So by placing my units everywhere, it allows me to place all my units. I'm also using my bindings to place down these units, as my macro only lasts two minutes, meaning that all the steps prior will also occur in the infinite, which could potentially lead you to making a Robux transaction. Once I've placed all my units down, I would click the area where the return to lobby button would be And that's it. With two of the worst minutes, I can consistently reach wave 30. I would set the tiny task setting to continuous playback. And from this macro, I make 8,000 gems every 10 hours, which can probably explain how I got so much gems last video. Now for the second most asked question. How did I claim codes before level eight? That's simply because the video was before the alt farm nerf, which made it harder for new accounts to get gems by adding a level requirement to codes and various other things. And since I did it before the nerf, there was no level requirement. Last question slash statement that I will be talking about. The Kizaru incident. Yes, I do indeed get help from others. Why? Simply because it makes life easier. It allows me to actually complete the daily and weekly tasks, which give a ton of gems. If this was a beating the game video, then of course I would do a solo run. However, there is too little content, which is why I changed the challenge into a progression run, and hence allowed help from other people. I think that is enough venting from me. So, currently it is update 1, and they just released a limited banner, along with a raid game mode. And they're both things I can't do. The limited banner requires summoning, which I can't do. And I have no gold to do the raids. So the only thing I can do is the same thing I did in the first part. AFK Infinites. And buy more mythics. Right now I have 32,000 gems. Which should easily get me another mythic. So I missed out on a cheap Sakuna and ended up just gambling all my trait crystals. Well, not all of them. Decided to begin farming stars for the next mythic I buy.
I have enough stars to evolve and king. However, I think it'd be smarter to save them for a better mythic. Right now I have 35,000 gems, so I shall now buy another mythic. just left the game. tried bargaining once again, and this time it worked. Stats are pretty good, and so is the cosmetic. All right, so I decided to do some more AFKA, and I now have 45,000 gems, and also 150 trait crystals. I guess Sonic is better than nothing. I shall now go buy some Mythics with my 45,000 gems. It seems like units from the limited banner can now be traded. I'm now going to evolve my warrior princess with my saved up stars. But first I need to sell some units to get some gold. I'm already starting to hate the fact there's now a waiting time.
gonna end the video here. Here's my units. Here's my statistics.